welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, Lindsay Living is where I love to share all my best home decor advice, shopping trips, room makeovers, and more, and today we are doing a room makeover. I've been itching to refresh my guest bedroom for quite some time. If I'm being really honest, probably since we moved in. I feel like this room has been the default sort of dumping ground for any home decor that didn't get placed in other rooms in our space. And I've honestly, before this makeover, never intentionally bought anything specifically for that room. It's really just been old duvet cover sets that we used in previous apartments, curtains we had laying around extra that didn't make its way to another window. I was so excited to really dive deeply into designing a space that would be calming, comfortable, and relaxing for any guests who want to stay in our home. And I did it just in time for our friends to visit. Before we get going, I just want to give you a quick moment to go ahead down below and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. I have new home decor videos coming up for you every single Wednesday and you're not going to want to miss them. For more daily content, home inspiration, and behind the scenes photos, don't forget to check me out on Instagram. You can find me there at Lindsay Living. All right, let's get into it. All right, guys, here we are in the guest room. We have guests coming tonight. Don't be worried. We all took COVID tests. Everybody's safe and it's going to be a really fun time. I can't even believe how long it's been since we've had some people come and stay at our house. It's just for one night and I really want to make sure this room feels special when they get here. Here's the view from the hallway and you can already see this room is a little crazy at the moment. It's become a little bit of a dumping ground for things like laundry we need to fold, decor items items that I've taken away from other rooms. You might notice these are the same curtains that I used to have in my home office before that makeover. Those are definitely coming down. This was just a temporary fix to put something over the windows. And look at this, a dumping ground for all of this decor that currently has no home. So we've got that mid-century pendant light that I removed from the family room. We've got a lot of different art pieces to select from and figure out what to hang in this room. So that's going to be a challenge. Clearly, we're going to get rid of all of this laundry. Get that folded, get that put away. I got some new bedding. I'm not really loving the gray tones in here, especially since my landlord selected this beige for the walls. I've opted not to paint the walls. I think this beige will work. It's not necessarily the color I would have picked, but it's close enough and I think I can make it work. We don't have a bed frame in here, so right now I'm just using this bed skirt from Ikea. It was a very, very affordable option. We've got some storage boxes here here, left over from rearranging the living room. So those are definitely going to have to swap out and go somewhere else. These side tables are from Ikea. Lots of pillows. This one's Jonathan Adler, you guys, and I absolutely love it, but it's so colorful. I'm having a hard time figuring out where to put it. Here's the other side of the room. The only piece of art right now is this piece. It's a Gordon Wilson oil painting, one of my absolute favorite artists. I'm very lucky to have that original piece from his collection. Definitely want to keep that somewhere in this room. The first step in any home makeover is gathering inspiration. I love to create Pinterest mood boards for every room in my home, and I refer back to them frequently to make sure that I don't get too far off, especially when, I've said it before, I'm a squirrel shiny object kind of shopper. I get very distracted while in stores, especially if I see new product that I've never seen, and that can often lead my room in a confused direction. This was a huge problem for me, especially when I was a bit younger. Now that I've redesigned a lot of different apartments and spaces, Spaces and rooms, I have a little bit clearer vision, and honestly, Pinterest is my best hack to support that. I refer back to my Pinterest mood board while I'm shopping, I look at it before I even go to the store, and that way I know exactly what I'm looking for. Another tip to not get too distracted while shopping is to shop online before you see anything in store. Or if you find what you want online and you know that's what you want, just order it that way. That way you can avoid all of that looking around at the store that can lead to problems. After gathering inspiration, my next step is taking stock of the room. Now, in this stage, I like to just go inside the room, look around, figure out what I want to keep in the room and what needs to be replaced or added to the room. One thing I definitely want to keep is the paint color. It's not necessarily the beige I would have chosen, but it works well enough for what my goals are for this room. I would have painted it a beige anyway. I'm just going to go ahead and work with the paint color that's here to save myself some time, money, and energy. Instead, it's going to be way simpler to add 
white curtains and a neutral bedding. I knew that I wanted to keep the nightstands in this room. They came from Travis's previous apartment from before we moved in together. They're simple. They're in great condition. They've got really cool organizational little boxes on the inside. Those were purchased at Ikea. I'll link those down below so you can find them for yourself. And honestly, I didn't even want to change the hardware. I thought for a hot second about buying brass hardware because you know if you've watched my previous guest bathroom makeover video, I'll link that here in the cards. I was very excited to replace all the hardware on the bathroom cabinets with brass hardware that I sourced from Amazon for a great price. And I had the opportunity to put those in there, of course, but honestly, I really liked the matte black. I thought it worked perfectly with the black curtain rod that I was planning to put in, the black that I was hoping to add in through art and accessories, and so I really didn't feel like those need to be changed. Although I would love to buy a new bed frame for this room, I'd love to find something upholstered or woven. It's just not in our budget right now. There's um, the fact that we don't have a bed frame yet for our main bedroom. <laughs> I'd like to buy one for us before we buy one for guests, but also we're really right now trying to save up money to buy our dream cabinet for the living room makeover. Hopefully you'll see that before the end of the year, but that's definitely something that we're focusing on instead of adding extra furniture to this guest bedroom. We're just going to make it work with the metal bread frame that we already have, and then I like to cover a metal bed frame with a very simple neutral fabric bed skirt. Now, I don't love bed skirts, but I do like them when you don't have a full headboard and footboard, the whole bed situation that covers the sides. For some people, you might have a different opinion on that, that's fine. I just personally like to, you know, throw a little money at the problem, cover it with a little bit of neutral fabric, and then it just kind of blends into the room. And then we can also use under the bed for storage because that's obviously also covered by the bed skirt. In the future, I'll definitely be either thrifting or sourcing maybe from Facebook Marketplace or somewhere else, something that will go in that room or a future guest room, a whole bed situation. Oh, it'd be fun to get something mid-century. And I have been searching Facebook Marketplace. It's my new little hobby while I'm on watching YouTube or watching TV. I also like to scroll Facebook Marketplace and just look for fun finds. I also really like the OfferUp website to look for local sales from people who might be looking to unload furniture pieces. So I'm keeping the nightstands, I'm keeping the bed frame, and yeah, that's pretty much all the furniture in this room. <laughs> as far as textiles, pretty much everything's got to go. Now, as I said earlier, I've never bought anything specifically for this room. And currently, there's a gray striped bedding. It's from Threshold at Target. It's a lovely duvet set. Highly recommend recommend it. It's got almost like a linen feeling to it. It's really, really pretty, but the gray tone never worked with the beige walls. And since I don't want to paint, it was much easier and cheaper to just replace the duvet set. I love this pillow that I got from Home Goods. I'm thinking about leaving it in here, but I actually found an even cuter pillow at Target. So that one might work better. This one might need a new home, but it's way too cute. I've got to find a home for it. I want to layer in something really light and neutral. I'm thinking an ivory or white. Since the beige walls might lend themselves a little bit better to an ivory, that might be kind of fun. I personally love to mix neutrals. Beige, white, ivory, gray, they can all kind of live together in my color story, especially in this room. So instead, I found this fantastic, beautiful, simple print. It's from the Hearth and Hand collection at Target. The base color is ivory. There's a very skinny stripe that is a charcoal gray, very understated, and it works really nicely when I pair it with other neutral bedding. <laughs> one of my all-time favorite quilts. This one also came from Threshold Line at Target. Okay, can we talk about how much I'm loving this amazing, beautiful throw pillow. Fantastic Target find. I will link it down below. I love a long lumbar pillow. I like to keep pillows on the bed fairly simple, and if I can just do one lumbar pillow that makes a big impact, that's my preference. And so this one really 
just gave a little bit more contrast with that bold black statement, but still being neutral and a little boho, which I think adds a new layer to the style in this room. I did a beige sheet that I already had. I layered on this very neutral leaf print quilt above that. I had two extra white pillowcases from our bedding set that I put on top of the bed, and then I layered in this hearth and hand duvet set. All together, I really like the mix of neutrals. I really like how white, beige, and ivory come together to create a beautiful, cozy, and calming space. Next up, I'm gonna show you my best hack for hemming curtains quickly and not permanently. <laughs> I know hemming curtains can be a real pain, especially if you don't have a lot of space or a sewing machine. I usually use my sewing machine to hem curtains throughout all my home, but in this case, I didn't wanna make any permanent changes to brand new curtains. It's likely that Travis and I will have to move sometime in the coming year. I didn't wanna do any permanent changes or cut off any of the length. So when I did my home office makeover and I did four sets of these Marie curtains to make sure they're exactly the length that I want them to look custom, I decided decided to use a semi-permanent hemming tape that is an iron-on product. It's inexpensive, it goes on easily, and it's really easy to peel off the parts if you make a mistake or if you end up moving and need to re-hem to account for the difference in ceiling height. So in this space, I'm going to go ahead and use this product to make this super fast, super efficient, and also changeable in case we have to move. Great little hack from me to you. I had these curtains, they were made out of fabric from Ikea that I actually bought to make curtains for my classroom. I made that into a quarantine project and I made those curtains with a fabric that definitely did not work in my home. Immediately hated them and then wanted to, of course, replace them with something white and neutral. Going ahead and retiring these for the moment, I might reuse this fabric in uh, maybe a classroom pillows or something, obviously after COVID. I'm gonna be replacing these curtains with plain white. I found some great curtains at Target. They let in a little bit of light, but not too much. For this room that doesn't get a lot of direct sunlight, I did want to have a little bit of light coming through the fabric, especially during the daytime when no one's sleeping in there, just to have a light, bright, airy feeling in what is kind of a dark room. Taking stock of the room, I noticed that the gray curtain rods are just not doing it for me. I really want to make sure that the metal color in this room is black, and I want that to be consistent throughout the space. So I considered painting it, but I was worried the paint might chip off, especially if I'm pulling curtains back and forth all the time. So I decided while I was at Ikea to just go ahead and buy a new curtain. And, or, so I decided while I was at Ikea to just buy a new curtain rod in black. Since I was buying a new one, I also got the thicker gauge one that I prefer. It's a, I think an inch and a half tall. And so it just gives a little bit more of a statement at the top. I also use that in my home office makeover. Switching out that curtain rod is gonna make a small but big difference because it's going to create more cohesion in the space, feel a little less cluttered without extra colors clogging up the design. definitely going to be switching out some plants in this room. This room does not get a lot of direct light, as I said, and so only low light plants are going to work in here. Travis was able to source a beautiful Chinese evergreen. The leaves are stunning, you guys. They look like they were hand painted by an artist, and it's nice and big and full. We went ahead and painted a terracotta pot black, and then I'm going to be putting that on the non-dominant wall that's farthest from the window. It's in the corner that gets the least amount of light, so I know that that plant's going to be totally happy 
be there. We have some others of those in windowless bathrooms in our home and they look lush and gorgeous. If you have more questions about indoor plants, I actually have a video coming up shortly with my full rundown of all of my favorite plants for every lighting situation, from every level of green thumbness. And I'm excited to share all of that advice with you. I'm also gonna be sharing my favorite app for managing plants in your home. We have upwards of 85 plants, I think now in our home. I do like the night tables and I do like the bedside lamps, but since I'm not adding a bed frame, I wanted to create a little bit more visual interest by adding a hanging pendant. So I'm gonna leave the table lamp over here. And then on this side of the bed, I'm actually gonna hang this globe pendant. This one is also from Ikea. I'll link it down below if I can find it. So is the cord. This one's one of those like fabric wrapped cords. So it's kind of pretty. There's limited amount of space to put this in this room. I can't put it over another piece of furniture. So really my only option is to put it over one of the two nightstands. And I was so excited to do that. Although I do like the look of symmetry when it comes to matching night tables and matching bedside lamps, sometimes it's fun to mix things up. Sometimes it's fun to get two night tables that are the same wood tone, but maybe a different style. Or maybe one has like a slightly different base or different shade, but they're the same height. I'll link that below. It's such a steal and so beautiful. You might remember it from my home office makeover video from before. I actually removed that from that room. The other nice thing about it, it's free. I already owned it. So I'm really trying to save money and add just a few things to make a big impact in this room. You'll notice most of the changes I made in this room are small changes, big results. I really wanted to try some new things in this space, work on a pretty small budget, and I will share the total cost at the end of this video. All that's left is a few finishing touches, a little bit of nightstand styling, adding in some plants, of course, because no space in my home is ever complete without a little greenery. Then we'll be ready for the reveal. I think it's time to show you the full finished room. Go ahead, get a cup of coffee and sit back and relax and enjoy this guest bedroom makeover reveal.
thrilled with how this makeover turned out. As you can see, I didn't have to paint the walls or spend much money to give this room a completely new feeling. I don't expect you to recreate this exact makeover in your home, but I sure hope that you leave here with some great new ideas to transform your space. I've linked everything down below in the description box so you can use it in your home if you're planning your own makeover. When I hit publish on this video, we will have surpassed 800 subscribers. I am so excited and so grateful for all of your support. Thank you for the comments, the likes, and of course for subscribing. And if you haven't already, we'd love to have you join us. So go ahead down below and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you won't miss a single one of my videos. For more daily content and home inspiration, you can find me on Instagram at Lindsay Living. Until next time, I challenge you to make one meaningful change in your space this week and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye my friends. Thank you.